Welcome back everyone. Happy Friday. It's been a very productive week for myself and I hope it has been for you guys too. On today's video I am going to be talking about the next component that will be leaving my room and the reasons why. Now I have had this component for approximately seven months now. This component has served me really well. I have learned so much from this particular product. Um, things that I needed to find out for myself if they were true or not true. I read so much about it that I felt the need to bring it home and evaluate it and live with it. Now, I know in the beginning stages of my channel, I was always accused of not spending enough time with my components. I was always turning things around in two weeks, three weeks, never given anything an opportunity to really reside with me and connect with me. As you guys know, that's no longer the case. So if you hear people talking about that, you guys know that's false. You guys see it every day with me, how long I'm keeping components now, and now I don't keep anything for less than three months on average. Unless it's something that I have an opportunity to send away, because I have interest in something else that has come up, that's really the only reason sometimes why I get rid of components prematurely. That's not the normal anymore. Anyway, it's sad for me to share that the next product to leave my room is the Wilson Audio XLF. I know you guys did not see that coming, I know some of you guys are big Wilson fans. So am I. Without a doubt, I have enjoyed a total of six pairs of Wilson Audio speakers in my room. Starting with the Wilson Audio Alexia 1, Sasha DAW, Sasha 2, Alexia 2, Wilson Audio Alex, and of course, the Wilson Audio XLF. I have learned so much throughout my journey with Wilson Audio, guys. I mean, I have learned the importance of a room with this particular speaker, not just with this speaker, but with any speaker. Of course, Wilson Audio, to me, and I'm going to say it here, I'm going to raise my hand and say it, has been the most dynamic speaker I have ever owned. Now, I know horn lovers, I understand you guys are going to raise your hand and say, nope, it's horns, and I cannot disagree with that. But from the speakers that have entered my room, I still believe Wilson Audio is king when it comes to dynamics, when it comes to slam. Um, I have placed many speakers throughout my journey, and none of them came close to the explosiveness that this product holds. Now, the reason why I brought such a big speaker into my room is because I wanted to essentially evaluate the importance of the physicality or the dimensions of a speaker in proportion to the room in which they're going to be placed. So what I wanted to find out is, is there such thing as too big of a speaker in a room? And I think that the Magical M6, which I also loved, and the Wilson XLF have answered those questions. That's primarily one of the reasons why I brought such big speakers into a room with the dimensions of 20 wide by 22 deep. This is a conversation that I think many people never address. You guys who are constantly buying speakers, chasing your tail, figuring out what is the best speaker for your particular room, are always left hanging because you are sometimes misled Sometimes you are told that a particular product, a particular speaker is going to work in your room and then you bring the speaker in, you like it, but you are not sure if it's really being maximized. I can tell you that, yes, I was guilty of that. You guys remember in the beginning stages, I had a pair of Neoliths in my living room that were quite large and I really liked the sound. I really did. Now I realize that I never really maximize a speaker that large in a room that small. And I feel that the Wilson Audio XLF is also part of this conversation when it comes to having 
a speaker so big in a room of the size of mine. I want to make a future video about my trials with big speakers in a room the size of mine and tell you if you should actually be buying speakers so big for your room or not. As far as the conversation with regards to the XLF, I can tell you guys it has been one of the best speakers I have ever had in here. This speaker was able to do so many great things um, from the sound, sound stage, the clarity, the resolution, the transparency. This speaker completely elevated things in my room. Like anything else, there is always pros as well as cons with any product. And I plan to make a future video that will talk about the pros and the cons of the Wilson Audio XLF. Now, I want to make sure I say this. This is my personal opinion after living with the XLF with, for seven months and been through a lot of components, amplifiers, preamplifiers, music servers, you name it. So I am very clear on what the speaker can do. Unfortunately, the speaker has to go and it will be going to a bigger room, a bigger home, where it will be able to spread its wings and fly the way it should have been in my room. Now, in addition to that, I must say, and I have to be quite honest here, I have been doing a lot of Wilson speakers since I started my YouTube channel. And I think, guys, it is time for me to move on from Wilson Audio. Now, of course, I do have interest in the Alex V because, because I did like the former Wilson Audio Alex. It was a phenomenal speaker. But I feel, of course, and if I ever have an opportunity to bring home the Alex V, you bet that I will do exactly that. But anyway, I just feel that I have explored everything Wilson Audio. I, have, I am extremely clear on what the sound is. I'm extremely clear on the placement. I am extremely clear on, you know, what it does really well and what it doesn't. After owning six pairs of speakers, I hope I do, right? Um, but I just feel that it's 2022. It's time to change directions. It's time to bring something different. And I must say to you guys that that speaker is already here behind this camera. The speaker has arrived. Here's a picture of the crate. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to be very, very, very curious. I'm sure you guys are very curious by now of what it is. But it is here. It is going through the braking process, which I must say, I am not liking the braking process of those outlets, those Furetech outlets. It's painful. But yes, the speaker is here. It's a smaller speaker, guys. The only hint I'm going to give you is, is that the speaker is approximately 70% 70, 70 the size of the XLF and priced at approximately less than half, or I should say less than $100,000 MSRP. I am liking what I'm hearing. I will tell you that as a hint. I am liking a lot of what this speaker is doing in my room. I am very excited to continue to break it in and hopefully present it to you guys on a future video. This weekend, meaning tomorrow, I begin to pack up the monstrous XLF, which will take me approximately five to six hours to disassemble and properly pack. And pretty sad news for me, but I have also been very vocal about the fact that I never fall in love with anything. It is just electronics. I am trying also to explore new colors, new tonality, a new speaker, something that will teach me more and more and more so that I can hopefully help you guys, those of you who are working with me on my consultation service, hopefully I can be more valuable to you all because I know some of you guys do not own Wilson Audio speakers, you own different brands, so I think it is only fair that I begin to really spend more time with other speaker lines. Anyway guys, stay tuned for the future video of the pros and cons of the Wilson Audio XLF. I plan to release that hopefully Monday or Tuesday of next week. You don't wanna miss that. I will be very open 
I will be very honest. I will give you my input about the speaker, living with the speaker. Once again, I live with this stuff. I don't read, I do not go to a store and listen to three songs and pretend that I know what I'm talking about. I live with all of this. Everything that I'm reviewing and I'm giving you guys input on are things that I live with. Remember that. I do not just go and do a short audition of the product, come home and then tell you that I know what something does or doesn't do. Right? That is all I have for today. You guys have a wonderful weekend. And until the next one, take care and thank you for supporting me.